What's up guys? After my last video on the Supreme Court ruling on Obamacare, there were a lot of confused comments. A lot of people still don't seem to understand what's in the law. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to explain some of the major points in Obamacare. Now, the Affordable Care Act, which is what Obamacare is officially called, is hundreds of pages long, so I can't go over everything, but I will try to hit the major points. Now, the biggest misconception about the rule is that it is a federal takeover of the healthcare system, and that's not true. What Obamacare really is, is a set of reforms against the private insurance market. You, if you have insurance now, you're going to get to keep it. Nothing major is going to change. The big controversy with the law is the individual mandate, that's, which says everyone that can afford insurance has to buy it. The reason for this rule is some of the reforms that went against the insurance companies, namely the end of discrimination against people with pre-existing conditions and caps on lifetime and yearly expenses. What this means is, right now, health insurance companies can deny you coverage if you are already sick. If you have a major disease such as cancer, they're not likely to offer you coverage because you'll cost them a lot of money. Furthermore, if you already have insurance, they can put caps on how much you spend in a year. Now, the new health care law makes these programs illegal. You can't, the insurance companies can't do that anymore. But that is bad for their bottom line. That will run some insurance companies, most of them, out of business. So the trade-off is they instu instituted the individual mandate, which says everyone that can afford insurance has to buy it. So now the risk is spread amongst healthy and sick individuals. Now, a lot of people are worried about how are they going to afford insurance. You know, poor people. You know, a lot of people want insurance, they just can't afford it. Well, the law, it factors that in. One of the big parts of the law is an expansion of Medicaid, which is the government health insurance plan for the poor. That will now cover people who make up to 133% of the poverty line. States make this coverage, uh, they do this coverage, and the law said they have to offer this expansion or the government would, the federal government will cut off funding to it. The Supreme Court in our ruling also said that the government cannot cut off funding for Medicaid, so that could be up in the air. It's going to be up to the states whether they want to offer this expansion or not. The other, other people that can't afford it, people making between 133% and 400% of the poverty line, are now going to get subsidies from the federal government to help pay for their insurance. So poor people that can't afford it will be able to afford it. The government's also setting up health insurance exchanges, which is where all the insurance companies in your state will go, and you can see the plan side by side and pick the best one. This is supposed to help choice and and help competition amongst insurance companies so people can see what's good and what's not good. Another major portion of the law allows parents to keep children on their insurance to the age of 26. That part of the law is already in effect and it is very popular. Thousands, tens of thousands of people have been able to stay on their parents' insurance thanks to that ruling. Those are the major points I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with these changes or do you think they're bad? Uh, let me know what you think. Video response, comment, and if you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe.